He has exclusive details on this operation and fields. We had a camera rolling, didn't we? We certainly did, Shauna. And the interesting thing about this is none of the arrests this time were made in Pioneer Park. But everything just seems to have shifted. It's still in downtown. The deals are going on up and down 200 South, only a block away. God, do not resist me. I was asking what the, the deal was up his, here. His deal is $10. Per I say you lie. I, I say you lie. Salt Lake City Police focused their attention on the drug trade in downtown. This is Officer Perry. And, you know, I've never caused any troubles down here. Racking up dozens of arrests each night for four nights. Yeah, we have undercovers that are posing as, as buyers and sellers. You see, all a person has to do is make a deal to buy crack, heroin, or some other illegal drug. They don't have to get the drugs, so a lot have excuses ready. What the best place to park was, can I park here? So what did I do wrong, ma'am? No, I didn't. I was not buying crack cocaine. I have no money on me. The department is trying to keep the heat on dealers and users. Done deal, done deal, done deal. They've already seen the trade move away from Pioneer Park. We need to make the comfort level go away. Concentrated enforcement combined with cameras giving them 24-7 eyes has changed the kinds of people using the square block of green space. It's a quantum leap in there. The comfort they have in the area. Uh, because you just don't see the activity in the park. Tony Caputo runs a restaurant just across the street. I actually came out and participated one evening with them. He hosted the press conference and applauds the police effort. But like Chief Chris Burbank, he doesn't see arresting people as the final answer. It, it's a systemic problem in our society that the police can't solve. The police can only react. And and Chief Burbank reminding everyone today they have arrested people in that area for years now and the drug traffic obviously still there. He believes there really needs to be a shift in the society to education about drugs and then of course treatment for those who become addicted. As we saw yesterday too, the jail is overcrowded. Clearly there's not enough room there for every drug buyer and drug dealer. Mark and Sean, mm -hmm. back to you. All right, Fields, thanks.